Yo, what's up everybody? This is Joshua Casper. Welcome to a Max for Live 7 tutorial. And today's gonna be a real basic tutorial. And the reason why I'm gonna start off real basic is because I'm myself still learning Max for Live 7 or Max 7 from now on, I think is easier to say. And as I learn things, I like to teach them. And teaching them really helps to solidify my knowledge of the subject matter. So today I'm gonna to show you how to make an info button inside your patches which are generally gonna be up in the right or left-hand corner, a lot smaller, and it's gonna be in, nested inside of a more complicated patch. But I'm gonna show you how to do it. So when you need it, you can. So if I click the info button here, it opens up another info window. Now this window can contain anything that a regular patch can contain. It can have text in here, it can have a button. Mine's just a big button that links to my website. It will automatically open up your browser for you. It's a really sweet thing. So what I'm gonna show you how to do is to make the button inside of the Max device. I'm gonna show you how to make it open a new window, how to position the window and size the window, and then how to make a button that will launch the default browser of the computer to whatever website you want. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna take a Max audio effect here, put it down, open up in Max. I can delete this stuff, I don't need it. First thing I'm gonna do is make a text button, so I'm gonna hit N, for my essentially my device browser and hit TX, TEX, text button, great. And click on it, hit inspector, and then come down to basic and then change the name to question mark. That's all I need to do here. Also, I can come into layout and include and presentation. And that's pretty good. Now, if I save it, You'll see that it's updated down here, but watch if I add anything to it and save it, it's going to add there as well. So let me just add the next thing, which is a message. So I'm going to type N and I'm just going to write open. This is a message to open a patcher. So I'm going to go out of the button into open. And if I save it now, you can see that open is there, even though I haven't added it to the presentation. And the way we fix that is to come into view inspector window, and then you come down to open and presentation. And now I close out of here. And if I save it again, you can see that it's actually looking the way it should be. If I come into presentation mode, I can maybe make this button a little bit cooler. Sweet. Save. Great. Now that's a sweet looking button, right? If I click on here and hit control T, I can adjust the font and the font size. I'll do something like 24 click out, boom, save. It looks really nice, right? So I'm gonna come out of presentation mode into patching mode, and I'm gonna set up the patcher. Now the first thing I need to do is set up a patch controller. So I'm gonna hit N, P, C, patch control, open and close sub windows. And that's what we wanna do, right? Come out of open into the patch control. Next, I need to set up the patcher itself. And the way to do this, hit N, P, space and then title your patcher as a unique patcher window and i'm just going to use info and however you name this patcher it's going to be the name that shows up in the title bar when you launch the, the the sub window from the patch itself so be creative and you know just take note of that now when i click out of there it automatically opens the sub patcher window for me but i can't forget to con connect the p control to the patcher window itself but I have to, in order to do that, I have to actually have to make a patch. And the first thing you need to do is type in N inlet. And as soon as I put in that inlet, you can see that I can now connect the P control to the patcher. So if I come back in, we can just set the background colors real quick by hitting N, B, G, background color. Boom, cool. The next thing we want to do is make the button that will launch the default browser and link to an external link somewhere on the web. So what I'm going to do is make another text button by hitting N, T, E, text button, great. It says button, I don't want that. I want it to say www.joshuacasper.com, great. All right, now it says that, uh, presentation mode, not in there, I need to click on it, layout, Add to presentation, great. You can make it bigger. Presentation mode, make it bigger here. 
All right. Now, now that looks pretty good. Okay, the next thing I need to do is make sure that I'm not, I don't have anything selected here. So by clicking out here, I go to view, inspector window, and this is for everything. And I'm just gonna check open and presentation again, just to make sure, okay? And then I'm gonna come back in here and now let's set up the action to open the browser and go to the website. So what I'm gonna do is hit M for message and I'm gonna hit semicolon space max launch browser and then the full U URL so http colon slash slash www.joshuacasper.com and when I click out of here it's going to auto format that for me it's going to put the semicolon here and drop that down that's perfect it's nothing wrong coming like that and we're pretty much done here but what I'm going to do if I lock it down and test it, it goes it works perfect I'm gonna go into presentation mode, and now what I'm gonna do is close the inspector, and I'm gonna make the window look how I want it to look. So that looks pretty good, and now I'm gonna position the window where I want it to open when the button is clicked. And I want it front and center, and that looks pretty much there. And I'm gonna come into view, define fixed initial window location, and now it remembers, the max patch will remember where this window is and its size. So if I close out of here, and I come in here and just save one more time and then close out of here. It should all work just dandy. Boom. The window's the right size. It says info at the top. The button is where it needs to be. And if I click it, it opens up the browser. So that's how you do it. That's how you make the pop-up window. That's how you size and position the pop-up window. That's how you open the browser and connect to a website. And it's all very simple and it all looks super sleek. I hope you learned something and we'll see you next time.